Hey, so if you're a fan of the Fan Showdown, you're probably gonna recognize this little gym. This is the T33 Mark III, and it was created by Jason, and it sh it was on season season three, episode eight of the Fan Showdown, and well, spoilers, it did pretty good. Now, shortly after that episode went live, I posted a poll on my community chat or community tab. Asking you guys if you wanted to see a head-to-head -head versus the T33 Mark III and the Noctua A12X25, because it looked like the T33 Mark III was better than this one. And more than 5,000 of you guys responded to that poll, and the majority of you said, yeah, we want to see that. So today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to see, once and for all, is this beautiful 3D printed fan actually better than the Noctua flagship, the one of the best fans you can currently buy on the market, the A12X25. Thank you to Lester for sponsoring this video. If you're like me, most of your shopping happens online. However, sometimes it's hard to figure out if you're really getting the best product for your money, and this is where Lester can help. Lester is a free product research assistant that helps you make informed purchasing decisions. Say you're shopping for something like a new monitor, but you don't really know which one to buy. Lester will immediately tell you which ones are the best for your budget so you can be sure you're getting the best bang for your buck. You can actually see why people chose the products they did by checking reviews and ratings from sources that you trust, like Wirecutter, Reddit discussions, and other YouTubers. Lester can even tell you if a product's on sale or compare prices across many retailers like Walmart, Target, or Best Buy. Online shopping is meant to be quick, so save time and money and always get the best products by installing Lustre using the link in the description below. It's completely free. Now first, let's briefly talk about these two fans. Obviously, this one is the A12X25, which according to Noctua, took over four and a half years to develop. And well, to its credit, it's actually a pretty amazing fan. Obviously, you can tell that I like it. I've based the whole fan showdown around it, but it's big claim to fame. What was it? It was its really small tip clearance of only 0.5 millimeters. Now, that was pretty incredible at the time, given that most fans on the market were 1.5 to 3 millimeters, and this extremely tight clearance allowed, well, according to Noctua, allowed the fan to work more efficiently against, you know, back pressure created by trying to push air through a heat sink or radiator, which in turn provided better cooling performance. Now, on the other hand, the T33 Mark III, like I said, was made by Jason, and I'm assuming, I don't know this to be fact, he did not take four and a half years to develop. In a nutshell, Jason said, I like the Lockheed T-33 Shooting Star, which is an aircraft. I wanted to make a fan for the show. Beedy bop da boopa, this out pop magic. Now to be fair, the T-33 Mark III is still an A12X25 at its core. We're only replacing the fan disc, but I think that just goes to show, I think the whole fan showdown just goes to show how good of a fan the A12X25 is. I've I've made a lot of these. I've taken a lot of A12s and destroyed them, and I've put a lot of weird fan discs on them in the in the process of making the show, and I've never had one fail. They've always just kept going, and you know we put some crazy designs on these fans, and they always come through unscathed. And I was thinking about that. That alone makes me pretty confident to say that if you were to buy an A12X25, use it normally, not do this with it. I don't see this thing ever breaking. You could probably use this for the rest of your life. Also, because there's a steel motor core at its center, if you don't like the design that Noctua chose for their blades, you could just cut it off really easily. Make your own, which I think is pretty awesome. I mean, I don't know of any other fan on the market that's as easy to mod as this one. Maybe the, maybe the Tough Fan 12, I think that had a metal hub tune, but we know which one came first. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Anyway, we're gonna try to determine if the stock A12X25 is better or worse than its T33 Mark III mod. Now, to do this, we're going to be measuring airflow through a wind tunnel. And we're gonna try a few different configurations to try to get a good idea of which fan does a better job. The configurations that we're gonna to try to test are three case configurations. So we're gonna try an open front where just the fans run full out with no restrictions and see how much air they can move. Then we're gonna try a closed front panel simulation where essentially it simulates having a closed off front panel. And then we're gonna replace that with a mesh that simulates, you know, obviously a mesh front panel case. After those two tests, we're going to move into the A12X25's wheelhouse, pushing air through a cooler, an air cooler specifically, and a radiator. And the winner of each round will simply be which fan moved the largest air mass through the tube. Simple as that. But before we get going on that, we need to talk about the sound output of each of these fans. I retested both of them, so I retested the A12X25, the T33 Mark III in the same environment to try to get 
an accurate representation of how loud they truly are because it's, I mean, even if the T33 Mark III wins and it's like, blow your ears out loud, I mean, nobody's going to want to use that day to day. So we have to get an idea of what the sound output is on each one of these configurations. The noise floor today was around 35 dBA. The A12 X25 came in around 47 dBA, trending towards the high side. The T33 Mark III, on the other hand, came in a little louder at 48-ish dBA, trending on the low side. Now, the thing I found most interesting about this little test was they were pretty close. One could say that the A12 X25 was quieter, but it was quieter and it had a higher pitch with the standout frequencies being around 35 and 310 hertz. On the other hand, the T33 Mark III was slightly louder, but it had a slightly lower pitch with the standout frequencies being 30 hertz and 220 hertz. So because of that, I honestly, uh, who won? I don't know, you could say that the A12 X25 won because yes, it was quieter, but somebody else could say, well, the T33 Mark III wasn't really that much louder and it had a lower pitch, so it was easier on the ears, so somebody would much rather listen to this fan over this fan. Because of that, I'm just gonna be like, meh. We're gonna call it a wash. These two fans are surprisingly close um, in how they sound. Personally, if you were gonna ask me, I would li rather listen to the T33 Mark III just because it's a lower pitch sound. But again, that's just my preference. I'm sure there's somebody out there in the comments saying, uh, you're stupid. So I guess we're not really gonna count this test. It's gonna be a wash. Uh, go down in the comments if you wanna see which fan somebody prefers over the other. See if there's like a majority starting to form. That's how we'll determine which one of these is the better fan? We'll have, for the noise output, we're gonna have a comment war. Round one, fight! But the best part is, is because they're pretty similar noise output wise, we don't really gotta worry about noise normalizing. We're just gonna test them as is. Now moving to the airflow case fan testing. With an open front panel, no restrictions, the T33 Mark III produced an airspeed of 675 feet per minute, giving us 89.1 cubic feet per minute of airflow. The A12 X25, on the other hand, produced only 84 cubic feet per minute of airflow. With a closed front panel, the T33 Mark III came in at 57.81 CFM, and the A12 X25 came in at 63.22 CFM. Swapping to a mesh front panel, the T33 came in at 69 CFM, and the A12 X25 came in at 69.4 CFM. So this is kind of fascinating. It almost aligns with what you'd expect from each one of these fans. You would look at the T33 Mark III and say, probably a better case fan than the A12X25 and flat out wide open, it looks to be. Now when you start adding restrictions, the A12X25 pulls ahead, but that's kind of expected. You would think a fan designed for static pressure would perform better when restrictions are involved. I'm gonna be honest, not looking good for the T33 Mark III. The A12 isn't even marketed as a case fan and it's already, you know, kind of blown the doors off the T33 Mark III. With each fan set up to push air through the U12A air cooler, the T33 Mark III produced 58.87 cubic feet per minute of airflow and the A12X25 produced 56.49 cubic feet per minute of airflow. Now right here is where the world stopped making sense. In my head, the T33, like I said, was the better case fan. Um, <clears throat> I figured that when we got to specifically the air cooler and the radiator, the A12X25 is just gonna pull far, far ahead, but it's not looking, not looking like that. The weirdest part though is that the U12A ships with two of these things, so if any fan is gonna be favored in this category, you would think the A12X25 would be that fan. So I guess if each test is worth one point, the Noctua now has two points and the T33 now has two points with a single test left, which is the radiator configuration. Now I set up both of these fans to push air through the 120 millimeter EK radiator and I just measured the airspeed after the radiator through the tube at the end. The T33 Mark III produced an airflow of 83.4 CFM to the Noctua A12X25's 79.59, meaning the T33 Mark III comes out ahead in this test that well, giving it three points overall to the Noctua's two. Now, I, like you, know that the T33 Mark III is a good fan. When we saw it in this fan showdown, we're like, that's a pretty good fan. Did I think it was better than the Noctua A12X25? It was close on the leaderboard. But on the same day, in the same environment, the T33 looks to be a better fan, which is crazy to me. I guess the real winner here is Noctua because even if you wanna make your own T33 Mark III, you still gotta buy an A12X25. So win-win Noctua, you made a good fan. You made a, good, a great fan for uh, the modding community. And if you got a little bit of time and a little bit of design skills, 
you can maybe make something that performs better than what it came out of the box. So now I'm gonna leave the fan as is, just kind of hanging out. And reason being, if anybody ever, anybody else ever wants to like test it, it's gonna be in the original state, which I tested it. And then we'll know once and for all if they get the same results if the T33 Mark III is in fact better than the Noctua A12X25. But from what I've seen here today, T33 Mark III, best fan we've probably ever seen on the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys get subscribed. Hope to see you in season four of the Fan Showdown. Stick around, there'll be an update for that coming up soon. Until next time.